from the state capitol where there's a bipartisan bill to address juvenile crime. It includes stricter penalties and monitoring devices for repeat offenders. Our chief political reporter Susan Raff is live at the capitol right now where the governor is urging lawmakers to pass this. Susan. Mark, at the start of the legislative session, we definitely heard a lot of talk about crime and then things got a little quiet. At odds were Republicans and Democrats who were trying to figure out ways to make meaningful legislation when it came to juveniles and punishment. But now, after a lot of debating, it seems that both sides have found some common ground. During the pandemic, we saw a lot of this. Videos taken of stolen cars, in many cases, juveniles behind the wheel, crashing and even killing people. A spike in car thefts has created fear and homeowners urging lawmakers to do something. But we want to work with people, and if we can make common sense reforms that don't send us back 15 years, then I'll support those. However, Democrats and Republicans have been at odds on how to address juvenile crime. But now, just a few days before the legislative session ends, they say they have an agreement. The House bill requires an arraignment within five days after an arrest. It does allow GPS monitoring devices for repeat offenders at a judge's discretion. The current six-hour hold for juveniles can be extended to eight hours. And the value of a stolen car is no longer relevant. It's still a larceny charge. This is called the crime bill, and it was passed at a committee on a very bipartisan basis, for which I'm very appreciative, strong supporter, looking forward to signing it, hoping the legislature gets to vote on this uh, within the next week or so. Republican leaders say they'll support this legislation, but they still feel the penalties should be stronger. We should be making sure that the very first offense of a criminal violation for a theft of a motor vehicle is handled with appropriately. The slaps on the wrist, isn't doing these kids a justice. A first time offense for a stolen car involving a juvenile is a misdemeanor. The big challenge, however, will be getting a vote and soon the legislative session ends one week from tomorrow. But we did speak to the chairman of the Judiciary Committee today. He said he's hoping that there could be a vote coming up this week. Now, coming up on Eyewitness News at 6, a group which started and was formed because of the crime on city streets. They're reacting to the legislation and what they want people to know. We are live at the state capitol in Hartford. Susan Rapp, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.